Shalom, Kurt Landry here. Breaking news in Israel. I was going to wait. They got the mowers running in my backyard right now. So if you hear that humming, that's what that is. I apologize. Thank you, though, for last night helping me get my sound right. Looks like the sound is great today. But one of the things is we have had breaking news. You know, you kind of felt in the spirit something was brewing. And this is really exciting. Israel has literally, I want you to know this, tricked Hamas in a very strategic military way that will go down in the history books as probably one of the most incredible military strategies in history of man. And I'm about to tell you about it. I want you to know it, but go ahead and hit that share button right now. Hit follow and subscribe to uh, our network and stay posted on real news. And, and this is very, very powerful. So this is how it unfolds. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and General Benny Gatz has a strategy and you knew something was brewing. And they literally told all the news media, including the media in Israel, that Israel was taking ground troops in last night. They had the tanks poised there. Everything was in place. They were going to, to take it. They announced it. It was announced even to Hamas and everyone. And what does Hamas do is they say, okay, they're coming in. And our strategy is, is that we'll go into what they call the metro. It is tunnels that are deep under the ground. These is a tunnel system. It's miles and miles long. It's all concrete fortified. It's deep in underneath Gaza. And their plan is we're going to go in there and we'll put all of our, our terrorists into these tunnels. And then when Israel comes in, we'll be able to pop up here, kill these soldiers, shoot these. And most uh, powerfully, what they try to do is to come out one of the tunnels and actually kidnap an Israeli soldier and, and then use him for ransom. And this was their plan. So, so Israel poises, they have the tanks, they have the artillery, they have the news media, everybody saying, here we go. And what happens is they don't go in. And this is right about midnight. And at midnight, for the first time, over 200 airplanes fly over Gaza. They drop over 800 tons of bunker busting uh, uh, bombs because they had already, through their intelligence, had mapped out the complete tunnel system, the metro underneath Gaza, all the entry points, <coughs> excuse me, and all the key points inside this system. They already had them mapped out. And so all the Hamas terrorists go down into the tunnels and they're going to wait to ambush Israel and Israel ambushes them with 800 tons of bunker buster uh, bombs. You see, Israel had asked the United States for these bunker busting bombs and they would not give them to them. But it turns out that President Donald Trump had released these bombs and they had them and no one know that they had them until this very moment, which literally it appears is going to stop a major escalation of a war. Why do we know this? Is because the Hamas leader in Turkey and in Egypt are now crying out and asking for a ceasefire because the damage was, was so bad. So many of their terrorist army have been killed inside these tunnels. And here's the good news. Very little collateral damage to the uh, Palestinians in Gaza. And in addition to this, not one soldier was injured or, or uh, taken captive or harmed or dead in this process. So we need to give the Lord a, a, a praise the Lord with this. And I want to just thank you so much. I know I got mowers running in the back. I'm preparing for tonight, but I couldn't wait to get this out to you. Now, <clears throat> many of you sowed seeds to www.kurtlandrymin.com idf you sowed those seeds and i want to show you what they look like okay so i'm going to go ahead and put these pictures up on the screen okay these are the packages here now we had to modify them because the soldiers said you know what the chocolate chip cookies the it's too hot and they melt so we're changing those out to a, a oatmeal cookies they also said we really like the cornflakes and we only had these like little cup ones so we're changing that to a full family box so we're adjusting that they all they've also here they are right here now look at this picture this is exciting because sam brought down there not only the packages for them they've asked for uh cell uh, cellular or not cellular but so uh, solar uh, cellular chargers. And so we're going to get them 
phone chargers that are from solar and we'll get those to them uh, and we'll bring those down here in the next day or two. But the thing that was so exciting is your gift made a way that they were able to uh, get my book, Reclaiming Our Forgotten Heritage, which is published in Hebrew. And they loved it. What they were saying is, listen, we have no cell service here for the most part. It's very sketchy. I mean, we can talk on the phone, but we can't download videos or anything. And so what we really need is we really appreciate this, this book because as we're waiting to do uh, what we're called to do, because now this isn't over in the sense that what I'm telling you, what's going to happen now is they're going to go in and finish all that they've accomplished to do. And, and some of the major things that have happened here is the fact that Prime Minister Netanyahu, Prime Minister Netanyahu is, it appears, probably most likely going to be reelected as Prime Minister without having to, an election because Naftali Bennett has come and said he has, he has apologized to his followers and, and he's reconciled with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. So he's going to join and blue and white through uh, General Benny Gatz. He is also going to, to come together and join. And it looks like, and it's not official, but it, it appears behind the scenes that Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu will be able to fo form a majority government. And we're real excited about that. So what a victory for our friend, Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu. He, this, is a, this is genius what has happened here. And uh, it literally is going to stop Ezekiel 38. It's going to stop a world war really in the Middle East. That's what's being dodged right now. And believe me, this is going to send shockwaves through, through that whole territory with what's happened. And, and the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and Israel, your prayers, your giving have brought us a victory. No, it's not over. Uh, uh, Netanyahu was taken from George Bush when they were doing the, uh, uh, retaliation for 9-11, and they put together a deck of cards. And that's what they did in Iraq. And of course, Saddam Hussein was, was the main card, but they had all these cards. Israel has a deck of cards with Hamas. So far, they've gotten eight, and they have seven, uh, 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 seven to go. And they are saying they will not stop until they get the other seven. So anyway, we just want to... Uh, we're so excited. We're getting ready to have uh, our first Shabbat service preparing for Shavuot. And, and so we want to ask you to join us for that. And I'm going to go ahead and show you where you can see that. So you can join us for Shabbat tonight. So the Shabbat Shalom, it starts, uh, you can join us on Facebook and it will be Friday at 7 p.m. Central for our Shabbat service. And I will be bringing a, a special word tonight and that word is trees, trials, and test. And the key is, and this is what we're doing this weekend, if you can see this, okay? Here's the key. The key is this. You need to know what tree are you stuck at. Are you at the tree of knowledge? Are you at the fig tree? Are, are you at Calvary? Are you dying to everything? What tree are you in? Are you on Noah's Ark and you're waiting for the olive branch to come? Are you at that tree? You need to identify if you're going to go forward, what tree are you at? And this whole weekend is going to lead you from whatever tree you're stuck in to the tree of life. Praise God. We're going to have an immersion on Saturday for those that are here and registering. And if you'll join me on Facebook Live on Saturday, right around 3.30 Central, I will be uh, literally filming off out of the pool with my phone, telling you and instructing you what we're going to do. And then you can recreate that in your house. Okay. Whether it's in your bathtub, your hot tub, your swimming pool, a Creek river or lake, whatever it is, we'll biblically share with you the power of immersion and then join us 6 PM central, join us 6 PM central. And then that's when we're bringing this word, which is extremely empowering and it is a holy spirit encounter of empowering god's remnant warriors for a new era of victory and i'm going to be releasing the key of david so you need your king's oil you need your talits and you need your shofars and you also need to be prepared to bring your shavuot offering 
we bring, and you can sow your Chevrolet offering today at www.kurtlandry.com forward slash offering, and that will go as your Chevrolet offering. There's four things I want to share with you if you want to financially prosper, be protected, and be in health. Number one, you need to tithe. Number two, you need to bring three offerings a year, according to Malachi 3, Passover, Shavuot, and Sukkot Tabernacles. And, 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 the, and if you'll just do those two things, and you'll do it by faith, and you'll do it in God's time, and you bring alms, and that's basically what we are doing with the soldiers, first fruit alms to the Lord. If you'll do that, you'll always walk in abundance and if you'll sow your seed on time. So if you want to sow for this biblical feast, Shavuot 5781 2021, you can go ahead and sow your seed now and at uh, kurtlandry.com forward slash offering. Anyway, thank you so much. Join us tonight, 7 p.m. We're going to find out what season the word is, going, is designed to basically be a, like a a healing magnifying glass to go into your life to say, oh my gosh, I'm at this tree. How do I get at this tree? How do I get past this lesson onto the tree of life? We're going to do that tonight. And we're going in the water and you can go in the water at your house. We're going to do that at, on Saturday at 3.30 Central. I'll be doing teaching from the water at House of David. See, the immersion is the circumcision of the heart. It buries the sin in the water. Sin is what causes blindness. Removal of sin causes vision. You need to know where you are. You need to see where you're going. And on Sunday, you're going to be empowered with the key of David. I'm going to teach you how to anoint yourself with oil, anoint the key of David. So your tent, your tully, your mantle, and your mind become one in Messiah. When that happens, that's when the X factor of pure faith <coughs> is released in your life and it's coming. So anyway, God bless. I'll see you tonight, 7 p.m. Central. Share the good news, please.